of powerful storms sweeping through parts of western New York this Labor Day. Niagara County was especially hit hard with torrential rain and strong winds knocking out power in many neighborhoods. There are reports of dozens of trees down throughout the region with the national grid crews on the job tonight trying to restore power. We begin our coverage tonight with 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Slauson. Cleanup underway after a storm wreaked havoc in Lewiston. You never expect anything like this until it really happens. It left transformers falling, streets closed, and even trees crashing into homes. It came down by the wind. The wind blew it over. That's how strong the wind was. We measured the tree, eight feet in diameter. According to homeowner Donna, who did not want her face on camera, she says the tree seemed to be in good shape before the storm. There was no sign of weakness in the tree at all. It, it, as you can see, there is nothing that fell apart. It, was, it, it came down by the root. It's something that's actually not surprising to the town. According to the Department of Public Works, the dry summer made trees more susceptible to this. They don't have enough water in them to really sustain, sustain any heavy wind or high, heavy rains with the leaves are like parachutes. So when the heavy rains came, the trees went down. Oh, this could take hours. It led to tense moments for some like Donna. I was praying at the time. I wasn't really scared. I just was very concerned about what happened. And also plenty of damage, leaving exposed electrical wires that could cause serious harm. You don't know if anything's still charged. The best rule of thumb is it's live until you're told it's not live. Within minutes of the storm, crews were out working on clearing and patching the streets. According to Mayor Ann Welch, this is something they are ready for. Whether it's a snowstorm or a, you know, a storm like this that comes through, we're always prepared. I figure probably tomorrow you won't even know that it went through here. For some homes, repairs could last longer, but at the end of the day, the repairs could have been much worse. I'm very happy that, uh, that it wasn't more extensive than it is. In Lewiston, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.